We love Wednesday nights because we get to pay it forward in the tonight. It takes us to Blanchard. While many schools are going virtual, we told you about, right now there is a woman in a small Oklahoma town who is also working virtually. She make, yeah, she makes sure even the most vulnerable of our state students have the resources and the opportunities they need to succeed like everyone else, no matter what their disability or circumstances may be. Join me this evening as we pay it forward. The love of a parent is unmatched. And until you become one, it's hard to imagine just how you can love so much. You are their teacher, their mentor, their caretaker, their advocate. And for many of us, that never goes away. No matter how old they get, we'll always see that little boy or little girl. On this day, we travel to Blanchard to meet Ellen Kimbrell, who travels all across the state, advocating for students with disabilities and their families, because at one time, she too was in their shoes. She has, um, through her own experience, you know, learned that it helps to be, to have a voice when, you know, when there's somebody on your side, when you're fighting for your child, because if you don't, nobody else will. As parents, our children come first, and Ellen is no different. Not only for her son, but now every child with a disability in Oklahoma who may need a voice and guidance in their educational journey. Ellen joined the Oklahoma Parent Center years ago. It's based out of Holdenville, but their work covers the entire state. Though Ellen's own son was already out of school, when she saw the opening, she applied and has been fighting for Oklahoma children ever since. She's an advocate for families and children with disabilities, like when it comes to the public school systems, getting their IEPs yes, and, you know, being the voice for the parents because it can be intimidating. Ellen's son, Billy, is now 35 and deaf. He lives at home with Ellen, where she's been working from home lately and where we surprised her with a pay it forward award. Adam Kelly with First Fidelity Bank. People like her who spend their lives advocating and caring for others in our community are so integral um, to us as a society. It's my honor on behalf of First Fidelity Bank to pay it forward as a token of our gratitude and appreciation for all that she does. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Are you Ellen? Yes. Hi, Ellen. Jolene Hi. with Channel 4. And this is George. Hi. We have a surprise for you. Oh. We have a program called Pay It Forward. Yes, I'm familiar with that. Yes, mm -hmm. and we understand that you are really involved um, with children and being an advocate for children with disabilities. And yeah. you were nominated for your work. Oh. And Stacy has something for you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, I have a son, an adult son now, Billy, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, who is deaf, and um, I started my journey with him when he started school at three, oh. and I didn't know anything about special education or any of that, and so I just started learning <laughs> about my rights and everything. Their journey's been long, but Ellen's learned so much along the way for her family and for everyone who's traveling a similar path behind them. I love helping families, you know, and helping them understand that they're not alone, you know, that there is help, there is hope, and we're always chasing that that hope for our kids to get the support they need to, because I just want Billy to be accepted. Yeah. You know, just the way he is, and we talk about inclusion, you know, to include people. Because not all of us fit a certain mold or learning style. Some of us just need a little help finding our own path to get there. I love what I do, and, and I'm very fortunate. It's important work. It is important work, um, and it's very satisfying. I do it because of him and um, people like him, you know. Um, we're really and truly, we are all people who have uh, special needs. If you'd like to nominate someone for Pay It Forward, you can send your nomination to kfor.com slash pay it forward.